race number four, which brings into contention Calvin Tatum, a race winner, and Eric Gunderson. So a big test for the young man. He is in the red helmet colour. Next to him in yellow and black, Jonas Skills from the Danes. Grid three has Chris Morton and on the outside, Eric Gunderson, who is travelling a bit. He broke the track record in heat one, so obviously he's back at his vintage best. Heat four on the inside, Calvin Tatum Red. He won his first race. Next to him in yellow and black, Jonas Skills for Denmark. Grid three has Chris Morton on the outside. It is Eric Gunderson in white. 11 7, the Danes lead. And Gunderson now has the fast starting Tatum to contend with on the inside away they go up to the corner it is Tatum and it is Gunderson and Gunderson and Tatum together and Gunderson has just got the drop on piece of corner and there's trouble at the back there and it's Morton down as Gilson they picked up Tatum and that again is an untidy tangle and it looks like Tatum's in a bit of trouble I think he has his leg trapped let's have a look at replay again well, you can see it's Gunderson who's got clear and Morton and Eskilds and Tangle and Morton just picks up Kelvin Tatum and the lad tries to hang on in there, hasn't got a hope and down two goes Eskildson and that's an ugly one and it could be that Tatum's taking a knock in the chest and rib area. Well, there is Kelvin Tatum back on his feet, but uh, my word, the lad does look shaken up. We've got the track doctor there on the left, Simon Wig, his teammate there carrying the helmet, looking very worried. And Tatum really does look as though he has taken quite a battering. He's OK, but whether he will be able or indeed uh, strong enough to continue in the action remains to be seen. There's John Berry, the England team manager, just walking across the back of the picture, looking worried as well. Tatum, of course, has been England's secret weapon. They can ill afford to lose him here in this third test. And Calvin Tatum on the inside will take his place in the restart in red. He really is a tough lad. There is Tatum, but the Danes have lost John Eskilton with a badly cut hand, so in comes Jan Pedersen, the reserve for his second ride in four races. You can hardly expect to be called in so early. Got a second place first time out. Grid 3 has Chris Morton in blue. We've only had 16 laps, less than 16 laps of racing. And Chris there, the most experienced campaigner in the England camp, has been involved in both of them. On the outside, Eric Gunderson in white. Tatum Pedersen on the inside grid. Morton and Gunderson on the outside. Here we go, boy. Four. And once again up to the corner, it is Tatum and it is Gunderson. Almost had a repeat performance as... Gunderson goes clear, Tatum is second, Morton is third, Pedersen got squeezed down in the gallop for the places around the first corner of Peterson at the back there is making a big effort to get outside Chris Morton. Gunderson looks immaculate, Tatum, well, obviously none the worse for that rather heavy tumble and Pedersen really is pushing up hard on the England pairing, all the action at the back here as little Jan Pedersen built like a stick insect but with the heart of a lion is really making life a bit difficult for the English pairing. There's Tatum in second place, Morton in third, and buzzing it is the rider in yellow. That's Gunderson in front. Here's the battle at the back. Pedersen at the back, all trying to find something up the inside of Chris Morton into the last lap. And this really is what it's all about. And Chris Morton really has a tigerish day right on his tail looking on the inside for him. There's Gunderson, Tatum. There's the scrap for the odd points. But the England pair are going to hold out. Gunderson wins it by a mile. Tatum is second. Third place, it is Morton. But the Danes hold on in front with a divided heat in heat four. <laughs> 